Hello friends, Dork in the Road here. We are on Oregon BDR Section 5 and we are about to do the Cache Mountain Expert Section up to one of the most gorgeous views I've ever seen in my life and I wanted to make a video to kind of show you what it looks like so you can evaluate whether you want to attempt this expert section or not. I do think it's not like crazy hard but there are some tricky parts which I'll show you and the hardest part is the really loose cinder rock at the top but it's sandy, it's rocky, there's some interesting fun obstacles and I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. You ready bud? It, yeah, first expert section on a BDR ever. Wow. Right. I've never done an expert section before. Except I have ridden up here a bunch of times already in my life before it was on the BDR. So this is our turn at the bottom. Some sandy shiznizis. And let's go. I forgot to look at how long it is, but I'll put it on the screen for you. Some whoops if you want to get some jumps in. I'm trying to take it easy on my subframe so I'm not, not launching off too many things. I still got about 400 miles to go or 300 miles to go on this trip. But first thing is the whoops and the view. Look at the three sisters over there. Mount Washington is to my right. So close. It looks like you could touch it. And uh, spectacular views from up here. I once followed a RAV4 up this road. I don't know how they got down because it gets real tricky up here. But I was shocked to see that up here. So it's just a real kind of the volcanic sandy stuff because there's a big black sand dune up here actually not on this track but nearby up here at the sandy mohb so uh, you know get your whoops in it's all good and then you get a few embedded rocks here and there as you can see and you're climbing fast now i haven't been up here in about two years but i can't imagine it has changed significantly i hope and uh you know if you're not sure well one it's it's a lot harder on a big bike i'll give you that but my 12 year old daughter rode up here when she was 12 uh, on a drz 125 which makes it much easier but but she managed and she wasn't the most skilled rider at the time so it's doable if you take your time pick your lines i was surprised honestly to see that it was an expert section but i think i understand why especially when we're thinking about big bikes because the top is just this really loose red cinder rock and uh there's really no margin for error because there's like several hundred foot cliff, thousand foot cliff on the side. So, you know, you want to be really confident that you can navigate that before you head up here. But the view is worth it, I'm telling you. Top five I've ever seen. So the road used to go this way, and it doesn't now because the tree fell. So it goes this way. So you get more sandy. Good times. Sand, 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 sand. This road is really fun when you're on a unladen motorcycle and you can do dumb shenanigans. So a decent rocky obstacle here, but just pick a good line around the outside. Going over that is not recommended. Not recommended at all. At all, 0% recommended. Then you just get more of these embedded rocks. You gotta kind of pick your way through. Embedded rocks, whoops, sand, all at once. Testing all your skills. So if you don't like sand or rocks, or whoops, you're gonna hate this rap. Oh yeah, the whoops will give your back a workout though. Here's another big rocky obstacle that you just wanna pick your line and ride around. So these are snowmobile trails in the winter. I think that's pretty obvious when you look at the design, uh, the banked corners and all that. Okay, there's an intersection, you go left stay on it and this is where the alternate hard bypass comes in but we decided to stay on the route for today save time some rocks make sure you're fully inflated for this you might be tempted to go down because of the sand don't because these sharp rocks will wreak havoc on your tubes or your tires or your rims especially if you're riding a big heavy bike don't recommend it so full full inflation trust me I'm running full PSI even on this thing, and it only weighs 300 pounds. So y'all on your 450s, 500, 550 pound bikes, keep your tire pressure up. It's sandy, but it's light. It's not very deep. It's kind of fun. Gives you a little slide, but it's 
not pulling the front end too much. A few more rocks to ride around. Just keep your head up. Whoa. Yeah, there's another left turn here. There's a little sandy, sandy chute right here. Okay, this section is worse than I remember. Okay. Yep, 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 okay. That's a lot to... I don't remember it being that off camber before. Weird. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> this is like exercise and I hate it. And it's hot out and I hate that too. So pick good lines, you can avoid some of it. So that's cash up there right in front of me. We're on Little Cache. No, Little Cache is over there. We're just going around the hill in front of it. I don't remember what it's called. But that's Cache, the cinder cone, directly in front. That's where we're going. More sand. I definitely have something rubbing back there. I can hear it. Huh. More whoops, more whoops. Lots of this black sand. Big rocky section, but you can see the line around it. Ooh, okay. Maybe this is why it's expert now. Now, oh, I screwed that up. Ah, oh, damn, I talked all this shit. Now I'm stuck. Damn it. Motorcycle. Should have just gone for the left, but I was like trying to hedge and see if there was a better line on the right. It was too slow. There we go. Yeah, you gotta go for it. Hesitating bad. Okay. Loose climb up and around the corner. The thing that sucks here is when there's a side by side coming down. Because, uh, oh shit. There's really no room with all this manzanita to get off the edge. Okay, this is different with a lot of heavy bags on the bike. Okay, I take it back. I know why it's an expert section now. This is. This is no joke. It's no joke. The view, though. The view, I'm telling you. Ooh, we're getting up. Getting up. So it is, This today is the 4th of July, and the snow is finally gone. There's usually a bunch on this side until late June, honestly. Okay. Sand. I don't remember this being this loose, but look at this view. Look at this view. I guess I've only been up here. It helps when it's wet. This is a different kind of dirt when it's wet. It's not all sandy. So you got sand on the edge of a cliff. It's a little sketch. No big deal. And then it's not too steep, but it's definitely loose. Look at the view. Jesus. All right, into the shitty section. Let's see how torn up it is from all of our friends hitting it. Oh, we're not quite there. Okay. There it is. Okay, now the shit section. I really like to stay on the left for reasons that should be obvious. And you know what? There's no shame in waddling this if you want because it is crazy loose, but we're getting there. Almost there. Almost there. Ooh. Yeah! And of course, there's a bunch of side-by-sides up here because that's my life. Happy 4th of July. Oh, but look at the view. Look at the view. Wow. That is something. That is something. And that, my friends, is the expert section, Cash Mountain, on the Oregon BDR. Good luck. Leave me a comment if you've attempted it or are planning to. And please don't forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you. Excellent! Yay!